Hey y'all, it's Bria and welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. So if you couldn't tell, this is going to be a travel vlog. This is the first travel vlog of 2024, first of many. But y'all, I am so excited. Me and my two grandmas, we're here on the island of Bonaire or Bonaire. I feel like there's like two different ways to say it, y'all this place is just like so beautiful this island is a part of the abc islands so aruba curacao and bonaire so this is the last of the abc islands that i need to see and i've seen them all but we are here for five days today is wednesday january 10th and we leave on january 14th sunday i am just like y'all first of all the flight here felt so long i was so stressed out this morning i swear i'd be so stressed out before trips but like at the same time there's just a lot going on and like mentally i was just not there last night and this morning but we're here we're excited we're happy we're feeling good the weather is absolutely beautiful like it's so warm out though um we just got changed i'm wearing this romper that i got from i think i got this from oh i think the brand is club monaco and i'm wearing my hermes sandals and the bag I'm gonna carry today is my Jacquemus beach bag. It's currently about five o'clock. We just checked in, got all our stuff organized. First of all, y'all, the security on this island, they must be on like a trust-based system because we checked in, they didn't check no ID or nothing. I called them on WhatsApp. They just picked us up from the airport. First of all, the airport is so small. Like you get off, you stamp your passport and you're done. I'm like, wait, that was customs? <laughs> like the like there's one carousel for luggage it's just absolutely beautiful here and everybody is so nice so far and like let me just say like this place is so diverse like let me tell you there's so many different types of people here like it's crazy how diverse it is here obviously we haven't seen much yet because we only came to the resort we're staying at the grand windsock bonaire um i saw this resort on tiktok and i did do my research at other resorts and i just feel like this would be like a better option for us because we all have our own bedroom we're staying in a three bedroom oceanfront apartment so i feel like it's just perfect we have a kitchen everything living room two bathrooms and we all have our own room so i feel like this was just like a better option for us so obviously we have an itinerary for this trip every single day we have stuff planned we're doing two excursions and we have dinner reservations every single night so i'm very excited about that to try all different new foods and stuff right now like i said it's five o'clock our dinner reservation is at 7 30 at a restaurant called restaurant at sea so we're gonna go to the grocery store to pick up some groceries because we're not really gonna eat out breakfast a lot so we're gonna go to the grocery store and get like some stuff for breakfast snacks and whatnot maybe even little stuff for lunch because we do have a patio that looks out on the ocean and it's just so pretty and y'all the beach club is right across the street the beach club is right across the street so you already know we're gonna go over there at some point but i'm just so grateful and excited to be here i can't believe this trip is finally happening like i planned this a while ago and i'm just so so excited we're gonna go to the lobby because we need to get some adapters for the outlets because i don't know why i didn't think that the outlets would be different and i have one from when i went to curacao but they don't so we're gonna go rent those at the lobby and take a cab to the grocery store so yeah i pretty much have all my stuff in my bag just like a bunch of random stuff that i feel like i'll need for now but i'm gonna get my grandma's and we're gonna head out i can't wait to go to the beach yeah we should get some fruit like eggs bacon bread bread and yeah. just basic little stuff yeah and some uh, maybe some um, so we made it to the grocery store it's so different but like they have like the thing where you put the quarter in the cart like at Aldi's but this place is so cool wait grandma how do you do this I guess the oranges go in you determine Wait, what? How big is your bottle? A thousand. Oh, really? So eight thousand ninety nine. <laughs> Wait, so like you do like this? Oh yes. Oh. But there's not enough in there to fill it. What is that up top? On. Wait, I don't want to touch it. Is it on? Select. 
Like cookies? Board. Kinda. You would like them. Y'all look, they have the hot dog in the bun already. How does that even work? Alright guys, so we're back from the grocery store. It was like almost $200 for all this stuff. But we got enough stuff to last us the next few days. Um, and we also have a taxi set up. We're going to leave at 7.20 to head to dinner. It's 6.55. So honestly, I'm probably just going to wear this. Um, so let's do a little haul. Grocery haul. So we got some bread. Basically just like basic stuff and then snacks. Um, we also got these Lay's Max Crunch. Um, I had these in Aruba and they're really good. The Doritos nacho cheese. They're different than like the nacho cheese we have at home. They're really good. I also got this pizza because I'm gonna be up late at night working on my schoolwork. So I need like something that I can eat. Mini ice cream cones. What else? Why did I grab this? I already said my back was big. Why did I grab golden Oreos? I literally said I didn't want to grab anything that we have at home. We got some watermelon, nacho cheese dip, and the chips. I got these red grapes because they look so good. They're so crunchy. And I like to bring grapes like when I go on the excursions into the beach and stuff. I also picked up a bunch of candies. I have no idea what these are. So we got these little fruit dummy things. We have these waffle bites. Olives. I got some honey because I also picked up some tea. Oh, I also got some stroop waffles because they have like a lot of Dutch foods here, and stroop waffles are so good. So I got those. Butter to cook with. I got some yum yum ramen noodles. I still have to put all this away. Oh, here's another candy. This is the juicy bites. Again, I have no idea what this is. Um, we got a dozen eggs, again, just to make breakfast. Oh my god, what leaked? Something's leaking in here. Paper towels. Oh my god, something leaked in this bag. More ramen noodles, and then I got some green tea with lemon. Ooh. And then we also got a bunch of this spa water. <laughs> it's literally called Spa Rain natural mineral water i got these huge they really only had like huge bottles like this but we have water bottles from the airport so we're just going to refill those with this water i also got the orange juice there was like mad people looking like what is she doing but we finally figured it out some guy like came over and helped us so i'm going to try this orange juice because i love just like good natural orange juice also some bacon but i don't know it looks it looks definitely different from what I'm used to. And then they got a bunch of wine and stuff, but y'all know I don't drink, so that's not for me. Oh, I also picked up this zero sugar raspberry Fanta. I'm curious to try this. I love a good soda once in a while. Like when I'm on vacation, I'll eat whatever, but at home, I don't be eating like this. 
but I'm about to start putting this away and then I'm gonna get ready really quick and we're gonna go to dinner like I said we're going to the restaurant at sea and I'm very curious I have no idea so we gonna find out okay I know it's kind of dark but this is the outfit of the night very much thrown together um, I'm just wearing this Colt Gaia dress that I got a while ago super cute it's a little tight on me now because y'all know the girl been eating good but i'm also what in the world what what was that what just happened it just blew a fuse <gasps> maybe that's not compatible wait but i put it it was plugged into the thing I turned it on, it went. No, but I'm saying maybe the voltage on that is too, too high. high. Oh my god. <laughs> Y'all have me scared. Oh my god. Anyways, yeah. I'm also wearing my Colt Gaia bag and then just the Airman slippers. But that is the fit. And I also like um put my hair back a little bit. But yeah. Look at why does it do that? But yeah, nothing special. Today is Thursday, January 11th. Oh, Y'all, yesterday was a long day, but today is our first full day here in Bonaire. So yeah, last night we went out to dinner. We did like a five course um, tasting menu at the At Sea restaurant. It was very nice, very quiet, which I love. I feel like this whole island is very quiet. Like there's like nobody here. Last night I didn't really get to vlog much because there was just a lot going on. And we got back super late. We were at that restaurant for like almost three hours. Like we were there for a long time. The food was very good, but it was also like very experimental. I couldn't even tell you what we ate last night. Like all I know was a short rib. That's it. Like everything else was very different, but I feel like it was a lot of fun and it was definitely like a good experience. But yes, today is a new day. We're up. It's 10 o'clock right now, I think. Um, we're getting ready to head out. We had an excursion. We were gonna do the island tour at 12 o'clock But the tour company reached out to me at 7 o'clock saying they were picking us at 8 and I'm like That is not what we booked it for and they're like, oh, I think the reservation got messed up or whatever So we rescheduled that for Saturday And then Saturday's plans we're gonna do today. So Saturday was gonna be a free day anyways So today we're just gonna kind of relax. We're gonna go across the street to like the beach See what's going on over there, probably do some snorkeling. I'm very excited about that. So yeah, the plans got changed for today, but honestly, that's okay. After yesterday being such a long day, we definitely need a day just to like relax. But today I'm just wearing my Target bathing suit that you guys saw me wear in Aruba. I absolutely love this bathing suit. Like it's really comfortable and it fits me really well because as y'all know, I'm not like really comfortable with my body right now. So I'm like, yeah, I wanted to wear something that I'd be like comfortable in. So I'm wearing that and I'm also wearing these pants that I got from TJ Maxx. These pants are so freaking cute because I wanted to wear like a bathing suit, but also like clothes so we can walk into a restaurant for lunch if we want to. 
Um, so yeah, super casual for today. Um, I'm also looking for some snorkel gear because I was not on my packing game this time, y'all. I was really, I've been really off these past few days, so I really didn't bring all the stuff I needed. And like, I didn't even make like the pack with me video, the what's in my bag, nothing for TikTok. Like, I've just been off these past few days. But that's okay, we're here now, and I'm gonna find me some snorkel gear. I am going to find me some goggles, I'm not playing. And then we're going to this restaurant, we have a reservation at 6 p.m. at this restaurant called It Rains Fishes. So I think that's like in the main town area. And I was thinking that we could like go over there and walk around before dinner because that was a plan for Saturday anyways. Like there's this area with like all the colorful buildings. And I'm like, why don't we go over there around like 4 or 4.30, hang out and then like go to dinner at six. So I think that's what we're gonna end up doing later. So once we're done like hanging out, swimming, we're gonna come back, get changed and get ready to go to dinner. I didn't realize till we were making breakfast this morning that we really did not pick up all the stuff that we needed. Like we don't have seasoning, nothing. All we got is salt and pepper. So we literally ate boiled eggs for breakfast, uh, grapes and chips. <laughs> Cause that's all we got. Oh my God, y'all. We also found like our new designated taxi driver because the taxis are very expensive. We went to the lobby or like the reception building and we had the girl call for a taxi. She's like, oh, it's really expensive. It's $40 like round trip. And we're like, whatever, like we don't have a rental car. So we just have to find some way to get around. There's no other way. So we went with her, but then on the way back to the grocery store, they would try to call the resort because the resort was like, oh, we'll pick you up and it's cheaper. The resort's reception was closed. So why would you tell us to call you, but y'all are closed already. So yeah, the grocery store ended up calling like whoever they have designated as their taxi driver. And it's this guy, y'all, he got this long braid coming down his back. Like he has this one long braid. He's very nice. So he's our new like designated taxi driver. And I made sure I keep his card in my wallet because when you go around places, you have to have like the restaurant or like whoever, wherever you're at, you have to have them call. Unless your phone works, my phone isn't working though. So I can't use WhatsApp while we're out because the phone ain't working. So I keep his card in my wallet so that I can have people call him to pick us up. And he picked us up from dinner mad late too. Like he's very nice and his prices are better. Instead of charging us $20, he charges $15 each way. So he's, he's much better. All right, now all I need to do is get my jewelry on and we're ready to go. All right, so we're all ready to go. I got my beach bag ready. So let's do a little what's in my bag i have it like neatly placed so i don't want to take it out but i have my little compact beach towel my little ferragamo sunglasses i'm also bringing the gopro with me so that i can probably get some underwater shots depending on like where we end up snorkeling i have my little tasha toiletry bag in there with all my lip gloss wipes deodorant everything um i'm bringing my passport i've been bringing it everywhere with me because i'm also using this as like a wallet so i'm keeping my passport with me um we have the portable charger and then i'm also bringing two fans for my grandma's if it gets really hot of course i have my phone with me and then i'm also going to refill my water bottle really quick so i can throw this in there y'all i don't know if i'm gonna bring this camera because it is very big and sometimes bringing this camera in and out of the heat it gets kind of messed up so I think I'm gonna bring my little DJI camera and use that today. I only wanted to use this for like the excursions, but I think I'm gonna bring this and bring like my little tripod with it. Just because this camera is a lot to carry and it's also harder to vlog on both my phone and the camera to get both shots. So I feel like I'm gonna mostly use this while we're out today. And yeah, I think I'm gonna leave the big camera here and put you guys on here again. I also love that this bag has like long straps on it. It's like literally perfect. Oh, you guys can see me in the mirror. Cute. Yeah, just a very simple outfit for today. So I'm very excited to see where we end up and let's hope we can find some goggles cause I cannot, you can't snorkel without goggles. So I have to find some somewhere. Oh, a lizard? <laughs> God, it's so red out. He's running down the high. He went into the bushes. Damn, where'd he right go? There. 
Oh wait, wait, no. Ooh. Where? I don't see it. No. Oh. Y'all, it is hot out here, but it's not like unbearable hot. It is hot though. So we need to find some goggles. Where did they they said I could find snorkel gear somewhere, but I don't I have to look at the message. But we're gonna try to figure out how to get out of here. I have a cough drop in my mouth because my throat hurts and I don't know why. So this is kind of like what the resort looks like. These are all like the rental cars and stuff. Can you get out of here? And then right up there is our hotel room. Which one is it? I think it's like right, right there. I think this is the entrance. how pretty this is oh yeah there's like a restaurant and like a beach bar over here let's see so you literally climb down right there to get in the water what else breakfast is until 12 yeah and then lunch is at 12 oh they have a decent amount of options it's windy uh, y'all look at this i don't know if i can go down there like the water looks so nice though but i don't know if it's deep Y'all, I'm on the GoPro now. We're heading in the water. Y'all see that? Oh. oh my god, I'm gonna drown. Sangria. I got a pina colada. What'd you get? Mojito? I don't have a in there. Mm. Oh, this is good. No, this burger actually looks so good. Except for the flies. Oh my god, the flies are going crazy. But this looks so good. Y'all, so we just left the other beach. The food was okay. Uh, I'm looking for goggles because I couldn't take the other ones with me. And they said, the girl said, like, oh, you have to go to the grocery store. Look at this, y'all. There's literally a snorkel and dive shop right at the resort. Why did she tell me there was, that I had to go to the grocery store? Oh, look, they have these pink ones. That's so cute. 39, that's not bad. So this goes with it. All right, so we secured the snorkel and the goggles. Y'all, I can't believe the girl at the desk, she literally said, go to the grocery store. But this shop is on the resort. Either way, we got the goggles and now we're heading down to the little um, private local beach because that one's like a regular beach with sand and you can sit down this other one we're having to climb down the stairs was a little dangerous like I don't know how comfortable I feel going down there by myself yeah you got to walk down to get to the sand oh wow there's also like a little food truck over here by the water I wonder what they have God, look at how beautiful this is. Alright, we found a much better spot. 
there's like actual sand and no rocks. Like look at this. As you can see, we're back in the room. I got cute, took a shower. I feel nice and fresh, but oh my God, that beach, the second beach that we went to was so beautiful. That was like the little local beach. The first one at the beach club, that one was fun, but like the way that the water dropped off on those stairs, I'm really hoping that the footage on the GoPro and the footage on my DJI are good because I did a lot of vlogging on those two cameras. So fingers crossed that it looks good. But uh, yeah, that first beach that kind of dropped down, y'all, the fish everywhere. Like, I was like, wow. But that one, like I said, I really didn't feel safe because there was kind of like a cave and the water was going in and then like splashing out and I kept getting pushed in the water. So I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to get back home on Sunday. So let me get my butt out of here. And we walked down to the other beach, crystal clear water. The sand was soft, so clean, like, Again, a bunch of fish, so still was really nice to snorkel over there. But that was a fun little beach hanging out day. Um, the food at the beach club, it was okay. It wasn't bad, but it was okay. Um, but yes, it is currently 5.30. Um, we're going to head down to the little city area before we went to dinner, but dinner is at 6, so I guess we're like on time basically. Even though it's like only 8 minutes, 10 minutes away. It's really not far. Nothing around here is far. I literally asked the taxi driver, I'm like, how far is this? He's like, nothing is far. So yeah. Um, I also did my hair in this little half up, half down situation. So cute, like, excuse me. Looks so good. Um, so I'm really liking this hairstyle better than what I did last night. And I put like these little pieces in the front. Feeling so cute right now. But I'm wearing this little blue Zara dress. I'm wearing my white, Dolce Vita sandals and my white coach Madison bag and then for my jewelry I'm wearing my little Van Cleef dupes from TJ Maxx but for my makeup I just did brow gel mascara and a little eyeshadow I can't tell if it looks crazy but it's on now and for tonight's fragrance I'm wearing the Kiali pistachio it smells so good but I think we're going to head out. I'm going to bring my regular camera with me because we're going to be at dinner. So I'm just going to bring this camera with me. But yeah, the hair. Y'all see this hair? Y'all saw me snorkeling in that water. And look, look, stiff wear. Girl, the hair is still looking so good. Are you kidding me? Don't lay with it. So yeah, I've been using those two products. And then I also put a little bit of mousse. But look. But I'm going to get everybody together. We're going to call up Mr. Ponytail to come pick us up. And fingers crossed I have something good at dinner today. Like last night's dinner was good. But like it didn't like. Like you know when you're so hungry and you eat. And you're like oh my god this is what I needed. Like last night was like an experience. More than it was dinner. If you know what I mean. But let's go y'all. <laughs> I can't believe it's Friday already like where is the time going 
It is Friday. It's almost seven o'clock in the morning. Our excursion for today is an all day thing. It starts, they're gonna pick us up at seven, 7.30, I think. I think, yeah, 7.30. And it starts at eight o'clock. We're gonna do like an all day tour of the national park and like go snorkeling and they're gonna like ride us around and show us different things. I can't tell if my voice sounds weird, y'all. My throat has been hurting since the first night here. Like, when was it? Wednesday? No, Wednesday. Yesterday morning when I woke up, like in the middle of the night, my throat was hurting and I'm like, sometimes my throat hurts and then I like brush my teeth or I drink water and it goes away. No, like my throat hurts so bad. I mean, not like it's like hurting, hurting, but it's just annoying. Like who wants to have a sore throat on vacation at that? Like it's really, really annoying. But, oh. but I've just been dealing with it. My grandma gave me cough drops and then I also gargled salt water this morning. So I'm hoping it'll go away. But it almost feels like it's getting worse. And I don't know what it is. Like I'm like literally, I was fine and next thing I wake up, sore throat. So I don't know what's wrong with me. All I know is I'm gonna enjoy my day though. I'm very excited for our first excursion. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be an all day thing. So I'm hoping it doesn't get too hot. I'm hoping like we don't have to walk too much. Well, at least them, like me, I'm okay. But like them, they can't be out in the heat walking too much. Like we need to be in a shaded area. So, so today I'm gonna be wearing my favorites bathing suit i bought this when i went to oh my god i bought this when i went on my solo trip to curacao it's this super cute blue one piece from the brand salad and striped i don't know why i love wearing this bathing suit when i'm gonna be in the water because it's just like the perfect ocean blue color so i'm gonna wear this today some shorts and my teva sandals because we're going to be hiking, snorkeling and all that, so I want to have like good shoes on. So they're kind of ugly, but listen, they work. So I'm going to be wearing those. And yeah, I'm going to bring a cover up top just in case, just in case, because I don't really have room in my bag for a change of clothes. And once I went swimming, I can't really like change my clothes and my body's all. Ugh. So yeah, we're just going to be wearing the bathing suit until we come back and get changed for dinner. Yeah, I think this is fine. I really, I don't have anything else. And I don't want to wear like my skirt cover up. So we're going to wear this. Get our sunscreen on because we are going to be outside all day. Uh, we have to be in the lobby or at the reception building. <laughs> I keep saying the lobby. It's a whole like building. Um, we have to be over there at 7.15 um, to wait for them to pick us up. So I'm going to finish getting ready. Gargle some more salt water before we go. I'm about to gargle the water in the ocean. Damn, my throat is just so annoying. Um, but yeah, I'm going to finish getting ready and then I'll see you guys when we head out. By the way, I am going to switch you guys onto the DJI again. And then I'm also going to bring my GoPro for when I go snorkeling. So I'm really hoping that it looks good. I need to check my camera too before I go. But yes, I just wanted to let you all know I'm going to switch you to the other camera when we leave. I don't see any cops around these. No, we, we have them, but they like the air conditioning. So <laughs> they are sitting inside. Only when necessary, they come outside. Oh, wow. <laughs> With a lot of things, we are really behind the uh, rules. Uh, it's coming better and better now, and it was necessary as well. Uh, seat belts. Oh, okay. uh, just a couple of years that you have to wear. Wow. Helmet on the motor. Oh my god. Drinking behind the wheels. Oh, it's since yeah. 2018 oh, my god. that we have an uh, alcohol uh, law. Wow. If you was drunk, they don't. Uh, they, yeah, couldn't catch you. Yeah, they catch you, but you get uh, not a penalty for that. But since 2018, it's changed. Office, and then we have there the big 
roof. There we're gonna serve you coffee, tea, water. And there behind, on the left in the corner, that building are the toilets. And also you watch your step. Do you need Wi-Fi? Yes. Yeah. Oh, here. <laughs> that's oh. For the first uh, 50 meters, that's it, huh? Oh, okay. That's only for here in the area. They were living here, people. They are the rooms people from. People were living in this place? Yeah, it was a land house. From oh, the wow. past. And now it's a museum. I'm going to point out a few things. Aloe vera, we know that? Yes. Yeah, from that plant, it's a gel, a, a liquid inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to show you. Aloe extract, this is aloe vera. What? Aloe vera? Uh, oh, uh, wow. Yeah. Because you went to the and aloe factory. There was an uh, aloe. Uh, Plantation over here in the in the in the begin. Also, oh. we have more on the islands. Uh, for example, by Carpata, maybe mm -hmm. you come also there. Uh, and I'm going to tell a little bit more about that story, how they make that uh, in the front already here in the park. So you have also the view by Ah, Alu Extract. I saw that. I know what it is. Yeah. Then the donkeys. We saw already a donkey on the way to the park here. And the Spanish people they bring the donkeys over here. To carry the heavy load, yeah, and that's from the south of America. They bring it over here, and this is the original donkey saddle. Wow! wow. It's made from hardwood, yeah? and the tree they name it finally the saddle tree. Mm. And we're gonna see that after the list, but we don't have them so much anymore. Not still enough, but it's a saddle from a donkey. Then the cactus fence. Maybe you saw them already? Yeah. 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 Oh. Everything has a fence here, walls, uh, cactus. And they make it here, here's the description and the pictures from it. And these are the original tools. They name it the chi, the cha, the boy, the girl. How they do that? They <laughs> cut it off with a knife, the cactus. And they take then the yatu cactus. I will show that later on in the park, that uh, kind. It's a really hard nail. They go really deep in your skin. Mm. Ah, that's why they take it. And they're really nice, straight up. One length of this is 10 kilograms. Yeah. So be careful if you're going to place it on the line where your cactus fence has to grow. Mm. With the girl, you keep it away from your legs. With the boy, you hook it. And then you can lift it up here, place it on the place where it has to grow. Oh, Not in the ground, on the ground. And you have to um, put some fence or with wood or with uh, a rope, let it stay on the place for a while. And mm. then the roots are coming and they're starting growing, 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 growing. And then you it's have the life wow. cactus fence around your garden that is to protect the garden for the donkeys and the goats because wow. they destroy your garden for young yeah. I've never seen and that. And that's they have why we have them here. Yeah. Like they have all types of different stuff here. This is so cool. Kitchen utensils? Oh my goodness. What is this? That is so crazy. This is like, this is, wait, this looks like a coconut. Oh, it is, I think. Yeah, from a coconut. Is this a... Y'all look, there's a flamingo skeleton. That is crazy. I can't believe they have a, I mean, what is it, baby whale skeleton? Oh, that one over there. Yeah. Nice, beautiful. Nice, the next time. After the blow hole, we go up to the lighthouse. And this lighthouse is pretty much the northern tip of the island. After this one, we're gonna go over the northern tip to the west side, and you can see the flags, diving flags, huh? the red flag with the white banner inside. Uh, diving is still not allowed, but snorkeling is. And snorkeling is what we do at Wayaka, Wayaka 2. It's this picture. It's a small beach, small beach. You just walk into the water, beautiful, clear, blue water. 
don't need to go far. Uh, you see fish, plenty of fish. Oh, wow. Many, many. So after this snorkel stop, we go around a big, big lake, and then we end up at Slugby. And Slugby, that's the second plantation. Washington is the first. Slugby is the second because the national park is mainly two former plantations. Washington and Slugby. This is where we do lunch, and that's this picture in the middle. And no, we're not going to see it like this because this is from the air. <laughs> we can't fly, so. But it's still a beautiful spot. After the lunch, there's going to be a long uh, ride through the hills. We go up and down. There are some really nice bumps inside, so it's going to be the rough one. Uh, we're not going to get out anymore because of your safety, but we will stop at plenty spots and explain what's to see there. Okay. Wow. The natural prouder, the Caribbean blood. flamingo. The Caribbean flamingo is the most pink one worldwide. Wow. And how more pink, how older and healthier they are. Yeah, wow. And they are breeding now in the south and it are crazy birds. They don't make a nest. <laughs> Can I take the window a little bit lower for you? That's better with the picture. And what they do, they put some sand together. Oh my they goodness. put their egg on it or on the stone or between the stones and then they start breeding. And the funny thing, mom and dad, they breed together. Separate oh. from each other. It's only for 28 days. Oh, and then the first baby flamingo is coming. They only uh, make one egg at a time. And there we're gonna stop and we're gonna tell a little bit more about the sea turtles. Climbing up here and on the top, so there they make their nest. They dig a nest from one meter deep. They put their eggs inside, and that's between 80 150 eggs. Then they close it, their nest, and then they start going out here in the front for a while. Most of the time, two or three weeks, and they come back to repeat it again, make a nest again. In one season, between June, June and December, they can repeat it for two till six times. Then they leave to the north, to the south, 4,000 or 2,000 kilometers away for a while. Wow. Salt spray in the area. There are days when it's wild. We close the windows on the right. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah, you will be wet in the car then. Oh you cannot gosh. step out there. It's too dangerous then. Oh, but it's that's that far? It's calm. Yeah, it's now calm. Ricardo, he didn't jump, he died in the fire. The other one, Papa, Papa did jump, but broke his legs and had to crawl all the way back to the uh, entrance. That's quite a distance, wow. you guys. So if you take a look, you can see the tower, especially at the top of the tower, is slightly different from now. And that has to do that we don't use the light anymore, no more gasoline, it's just a small LED light. So, the cactus, here it comes. The one here on my right in front of you is called Kadushi. Kadushi is a species that you can only find on the ABC islands. Aruba, Bonaire, Curaçao, nowhere else in the world, only these three. And uh, it will first grow on a fully wooden trunk up, give or take a meter, meter and a half, that's like four or five feet. And then it's gonna branch off. Uh, it can grow up to uh, 100 years and 18 meters oh. high, like 50 feet. Oh wow. wow! And it can grow that high because the inside of the branches is also wood, hollow, oh. 
It burns, yes. Don't use it for construction, okay? <laughs> yeah. But this cactus is traditionally used for making soup, cactus soup. Take the young branches off, cut with a knife off the needles, then you peel it. The second peel is the one that you want. We collect it in a container, we put it in the drying chamber, which is a car, in the sun, behind the windshield, windows closed, leave it for two days, it's dry. Try it for half an hour, you feel it. You grind it to a powder, with water you cook it, and after 25 hours of cooking, you got a very snotty soup. It looks oh. like snot. It's oh. Oh. gooey, oh, like God. snotty. It like looks okra. like, and okra. even the color looks like. It even tastes like snot. Oh, oh God. it's not a nice soup. No, <laughs> it's called <laughs> soapy di kadushi. Ninety-five percent of people like the kadushi de liqueur. I am one of the five percent that has a good taste. Yeah, I hate it. Disgusting mm. stuff. But oh, hey, yeah. go and find out for yourself, guys. It's free, free tasting. Look at this view. There's so look one two three four five five far here yeah one Six, two three four five in total we saw a different one now from the 900 wow oh, oh no there they go from of this point you are allowed to swim snorkel oh. but it's a little bit too heavy here so we go more to the south and it's not easy in and out the water here watch out it can bite it has teeth <laughs> But what is more important, watch out for the tail. He curls it up and he will hit you with it. Like a whip. Freaking painful. <laughs> yeah, very painful. So guys, if you look at the beautiful waters. It's a giant fish. Uh, yeah, it's a parrot fish and that's a nice big one. Wow. It's a biggie. <laughs> uh, so you can find the big parrot fish. You can find any kind of fish. And you don't need to go out far. Please do not go out far because if something happens, I'm gonna yeah. be too late. Yes, I'm an official <laughs> rescue swimmer. But hey, if you're all the way to the blue stuff, dark blue stuff, it's done. I'm not gonna make it. So keep here in front. And this is also the spot where you can find everything. This is where the fish is. The dark blue is gonna go very deep at once. So you get the mm. drop off. Nothing to see there. No, Grandma, that's like rocks. Yeah, coral that's rocks, rocks or corals. Yeah, and that's okay. very important, guys. Do not touch. Never ever touch a stone that's in the water. It could be coral, or there could be coral growing on it. If we touch it, we're done for the next four or five years. Oh, you know. Yes. Very important not to touch, not to stand on it. What are you doing with your grandma? 
marathon. <laughs> you decide to go so fast. <laughs> All right, guys. Whole lot of time later. As you can see, I'm dressed. Makeup is done. I'm showered. Um, we're kind of in a rush now to head to dinner. We'll talk more about the excursion today later. But I'm wearing my pink Zara dress. Let me show you guys in the mirror. Um, yes, I'm wearing my pink Zara dress. I haven't worn this dress in like two years, but it still fits. Super cute. I'm wearing my pink Louis Vuitton slippers and then my pink, um, not pink, my little Louis Vuitton multicolor. What is this called again? Sac Petite Sac Plat, I think is what it's called. I don't know. But this is the fit. We're getting ready to head out. And like I said, I will talk to you guys later about like the excursion today because it was very fun. But we were extremely exhausted. So we literally took a nap as soon as we got back to the room. But this is the fit for tonight. We're going to a restaurant called Capriccio. It's an Italian restaurant. So we're going to head out now. And yeah, hopefully I can get some pictures tonight because I thought I would have time, but I don't. But let's go. so today is saturday unfortunately it's our last full day here in bonaire i'm honestly really sad because this went by so quick i'm like oh my god like but it is what it is we're gonna enjoy our last day it's currently 11 30 um as you can see i just got ready i'm wearing more of like a like not fancy but like more of a cute outfit today rather than like a going out with my bathing suit outfit because the excursion that we're doing it's just like an island chore, so we're not like snorkeling or anything. So I was like, might as well get cute. And I'm going to see if I can make this makeup last until dinner time because I do not want to have to redo it. But yeah, last night dinner at Capriccio was pretty good. It wasn't great. I will say the food could use a little more seasoning, but it wasn't bad. It really wasn't bad. But when we got back, y'all, tell me why. I swear, the most annoying things always happen to me. So we got back to the room. I was wearing, you know, my pink dress, my pink outfit. So I'm like, I want to take a cute picture because I haven't worn this dress in so long. Are my eyebrows messed up? 
um, I was like, yeah, I want to take a picture. So I was like going to go outside and use my tripod. Mind you, it was like 10 o'clock at night. So I'm like, nobody's really out. It's pretty quiet. So I get my tripod. I go outside. I'm like, let me just do it like right by the bushes by our apartment, like by the stairs. I'm like, let me just do it right here. Ow. I was like, I'm just going to do it right here and not even try to go anywhere and like cause a scene and have people staring at me because y'all know I don't like when people be in my space and like i be feeling so embarrassed when i'm taking pictures on my tripod like with my bright light and everything so i was just like i want to hurry up and get this done and come back in the room and just relax and do what i gotta do so i'm out there and i hear the two guys from the reception driving around on their bikes i didn't know what they were doing but they were like riding around on their bikes and then i hear them come near where i am so i'm like oh let me just back up a little bit so they can't see me they're just gonna ride by right i'm like i'm gonna just stand right by the bush yo why did they pull up right where our staircase is up to our apartment the one guy the first one pulled up i don't remember their names but the first one that we saw pulled up he almost fell off the bike y'all he literally almost fell off the bike he said oh my god he was like i didn't even see you there and i'm like i'm so sorry i'm over here like oh my god i'm just like laughing <laughs> and like i'm like i'm sorry uh he's like oh no you're fine he was like he was literally like i almost shit my pants <laughs> sir i did not mean to scare you like that because y'all i'm literally hiding behind the bush and they just come around and it's late <laughs> they saw me with and then tell me why the other one i asked him i'm like oh what are you guys doing out here at this hour because usually they're not even working he was like oh we're just checking on the rooms that people checked out you know like checking things out make sure everything's good and then the other guy comes he's being all nosy asked me about pictures and everything and like me trying to not make things weird because i could have just walked right back into the room and called it a night but i'm like i need to get a picture in this outfit so in order to make things not weird I'm like, oh, do you know like a good picture spot where I can go take a picture? Like kind of insinuating like I'm going to get away from y'all and do my own thing. And then he's like showing me pictures on his phone, this and that, blah, blah, blah. And then he takes me over to the pool. He's like, oh, yeah, this is a good spot. And like I'm setting up and like I see he's still over there like by his bike. And I'm like setting my pictures like waiting for him to leave. Y'all, why did this man say? He said, oh, let me come. He's like, I'm going to come over and make sure the pictures look good this man was standing there the whole time i was taking the pictures and then after a few i was just like oh i'm kind of tired i'm probably gonna go back and i'll take pictures tomorrow you know i'm just kind of over it because why was he watching me take pictures and then he walked me back to my room y'all why, why why am i why does god put me in these situations he just mm. but I still got my pictures because I took them in the room. I literally set up my tripod in the hallway and I'm like, I'm just going to take them here because I can't. I literally can't. I was over it, y'all. It was That was too much for me. Too much. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah. Oh, and also the excursion yesterday at the National Park. Y'all, I don't, it was just a lot. It was just a lot, but it was so much fun. Our tour guide, I can't remember his name, but it started with a G, but you pronounce it with a Y. I think it was like... Yor, Yor, Yorl or something he was very nice the, like y'all he went above and beyond for us we had our own like little private tour in that, that land rover we were driving around it was just us in the car it was so much fun we saw flamingos we saw donkeys parrots we saw a baby goat like there was just so much and then the snorkel spot that we went to was so nice i didn't really get to take pictures there but either way it was really nice and we had so much fun it was very hot out but it was a lot of fun. So if you come here to Bonaire, I highly, highly recommend doing that tour. Obviously, I will have everything linked down below. I booked through TripAdvisor, but it took me to like the Viator website. So I don't know if TripAdvisor and Viator are like one now. But I will have the tour that we did yesterday and the tour that we're doing today linked down below for you guys as well as the resort. But anyways, I have my little beach bag ready. Of course, I'm going to put you guys on the little mini camera because this camera is just a lot to carry around, especially when we're doing the excursions. So I'm going to put you guys on the little mini camera. Um, for my outfit, I am wearing this black tank top, my Zara skirt, as well as my Dior sandals. You can probably see me in the mirror. Y'all kind of seen this outfit before, but yeah, I'm very excited to enjoy our last full day and we have a reservation for dinner at a restaurant called sebastian's and i'm pretty sure our seat will be like on the water so i'm excited to see that that is at 5 30 because i wanted to do dinner when like the sun was setting 
So that should be very nice. But I have my beach bag. Um, I'm gonna make sure the grannies are ready to go because they should be picking us up very soon. It's 11.39 and the tour starts at 12. So they should be picking us up very soon. And I also need to go to the reception to request a late checkout for tomorrow because we want to do stuff in the afternoon tomorrow ugh. because we want to do stuff in the afternoon tomorrow before we leave because you really don't need to go to the airport early like you could show up 10 minutes before your flight and you'll be good so we're also going to enjoy the morning and the afternoon tomorrow before we leave but yes enough rambling because i didn't get to update you guys yesterday so i wanted to do a little chit chat before we left but i'm very excited so let's head out and get this day started Because there lives, uh, there is one type of algae that can live in such amount of salt, and that type of algae gives the water its pink color. And there is so much of that algae in that water. Perfect amount of salt for my grandma right here. Oh, look at this water. Yeah, they are decor, they are all sweet. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Hello! Hello! Okay. So right here you can see our Kadushi cactus. It is the tallest on the bar. Here on the bar. You're looking too far. Grandma, okay, right here, in front of you. Look at the tree! So here you can see our Kadushi cactus. It is the tallest cactus type that we have here on the island. Of course, we'll need alcohol to make all of our drinks. Mm -hmm. And to make alcohol, we need sugar. The cactus does contain some sugar, but not enough to make alcohol out of it. So that's why we use our local green, the sorghum. Mm -hmm. Bless you. Thank you. We let this sorghum ferment for about two weeks long. What's it in, in Dutch? Sorghum. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we let this sorghum ferment for about two weeks long in these types of bottles. And after two weeks fermenting, we do have 18% of alcohol content. Mm. This one goes for the first time in our bigger still, and after that, for the second one, in the smaller one, 
when it's ready, we do have 80% of alcohol right here. You can still drink it if you'd like to, but I won't. <laughs> <laughs> we take a part of this 80%, it goes for the third time in our smaller still. And here we have 95% of pure alcohol. You cannot drink this one. You can run a car on it if you'd like. Yeah. <laughs> we use this 95% of alcohol to extract our ingredients, the cactus and the lime for the caduce of Bonaire. The lime takes about one month to extract, and we have all the color, the flavor, and the smell in the alcohol. And the cactus takes about half a year. When these two are ready, we're going to filter them up with 80% of alcohol. It goes into our mixing tank. Of course, with a few of our secret ingredients that unfortunately I can tell you about. <laughs> but when the recipe is approved, we open our bottling machine, and that's how we make our caduce. So our liqueur, and we make the rum, also with the yeah. yeah. This one is so two dollars. The vodka. I like your necklace. Thank you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Oh, thank you. I like that purple one. That's the calabas of Curacao? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. That's one of my favorites. Can I try that one? Yeah. Let me just pour this one over. Okay. okay. Yeah, this one. Nice. Yeah. It's good. I, I don't like that. Oh, that's so good. Thank you. Have a nice day. Enjoy. I hope everything right. works out. Yeah, that was really nice. Yeah. yeah. I like this. How much is that? This is it. You had the orange, you didn't have the yellow and the red. Yeah, yeah. My thank you. Which I tried those two, then you had all of them. But I don't want them back. Oh, okay. Are you kidding me? So they gave them to me, but they don't want me to pay with them. I like the green one. It's purple. Mm hmm. <laughs> they will all be delicious. Fresh dice. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. This one makes a great cherry coke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cherry coke. If you coke, mix yeah. it with coke. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. No food for you, guys. Now I can give it to you, I swear. No food, buddy. Oh. He said, forget you then. Oh, he's upset. A, a 15 piece bucket of the wings. Uh, can I get a 15 piece bucket of the wings? But for so what kind of sauce? Um, no sauce. No just, sauce? Just one. Oh, barbecue? Barbecue. Uh, can, I, can we get a barbecue sauce with that? You want a barbecue sauce? And then mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, biscuits, um, and oh. French fr and a large fry. Uh, sorry? Um, a large fry. Uh, a large fry, please. Mac and cheese. Large fries? Mac and cheese and mashed potatoes. And do you also okay. have mac and cheese and mashed potatoes? Yeah. Uh, okay. Also that one, please. No, large. Large. So, uh... Oh, two more biscuits. I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> two more biscuits, please. So, four total. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Uh, no, that wasn't. So you... Alright y'all, we just got back from our little tour of the island. What did you guys think? It was fantastic. What, what was your favorite part? I liked all of it. Yeah, it was all nice. I thought it, the, the little distillery was so interesting. Like, oh, that was. That was and I don't even like alcohol and it was actually good to me. Like, I'm shocked. It's nice and sweet. Don't get used to it. No, no. But yeah, that guy, his name was Nigel. He was, he was really nice. He was. But we got His some KFC, huh? His name was Nigel. Nigel? Yeah. But we stopped, he stopped at KFC for us, which we were so happy about. Look, they put the food in a reusable oh, bag. Sure. We got some mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. Coleslaw, mm -hmm. nasty. <laughs> what is this? French fries. 
to head to dinner i'm feeling very cute i changed my outfit my makeup was already done y'all it lasted the whole day so the makeup is what it is uh actually i forgot to put lip gloss on oh but i am wearing this zara dress that i bought in aruba so cute so comfortable very flowy let me turn it you can kind of see in the mirror very cute and like island girl vibes type dress and then of course i'm wearing my uh hermes uh sandals as usual i'm also going to be carrying my cult gaia bag i absolutely love this bag this and my jacquemus bag i got from a boutique beacon called wonderlux i will have her page linked down below make sure you go shop with her y'all she always has so many amazing deals on designer items like she's the best i love her and i'm actually wearing no necklace today because i kind of wanted to make a statement and just have my shoulders out and i'm wearing these really cute gold statement earrings from amazon my amazon storefront is also linked down below as usual but i wanted to show you guys we got some stuff at the little kadushi distillery and then i also took some polaroid pictures they came out so cute like some of them are a little bright but they came out really cute. I'm gonna take some more tonight while we're out. Yeah, I have four pictures left on here. So while we were out, the first stop was the salt flats and the pier. We ended up picking up some salt rocks and yes, I tasted it, it is salt. It's salt, it's not clean, I don't think, but oh well. And then I'm taking home the little KFC bag because I can do what I want. So then from the Kadushi Distillery, they had so many different flavors of the little liqueur. So I got the Kukui of Aruba liquor. This is raspberry? It's some, no, cherry. This one's cherry. And then I got the Kadushi of Bonaire. This is obviously the Kadushi cactus and then also lime, which actually they taste very good. Like I said, y'all already know I don't like alcohol, but they taste so good because they're, they're very sweet. Y'all know I like something sweet. And then they also had Kadushi tea. They had Kadushi green tea and black tea, so I ended up picking the black tea up. I mean, green tea, not black tea. I got the green tea because I like green tea. So I'm going to try this when I get home. We'll see how it is. I'm very, very excited because I love, love tea. So it is currently 5.20. We're getting ready to head out. Hopefully, we get to the restaurant before the sun sets. But yes, feeling very cute. It's our last night in Bonaire. It's been such an amazing time. But, you know... I'm just grateful for the memories. So hopefully dinner is good. Hopefully we get the seat on the water like we want. Like I said, we're going to a restaurant called Sebastian's. It's supposed to be in the water. It's supposed to be very nice. So we will see when we get there. Happy Sunday. 
Today is the day we are leaving, unfortunately. I have all my stuff packed up. As you can see, I have my suitcase by the door. Um, it is nine o'clock in the morning and yeah, we're packing up and getting ready to go. I'm very sad, but y'all, I already know I'll be back. I don't know if it'll be this year, but I'm definitely, I will be back. So you can definitely expect another Bonaire vlog because I will be back. But yeah, last night's dinner at Sebastian's was absolutely amazing. Food, 10 out of 10. Atmosphere, 10 out of 10. Everything was just perfect and amazing. So if you come here, you have to eat there. Like I would eat there twice. I would eat there more than once. I wish you went there more than once because it was so nice like sitting on the water and you could literally see the fish from your table. And the food was really, really good. I got the calamari, but it was like pan fried calamari. Literally tasted so good. I usually eat fried calamari, but that one was really good. And then I got the lobster parpadel, very good again. And then for dessert, I got like this little sampling platter because y'all know I always need something sweet. But like when I go to a new place, I like to try everything. So obviously I'm not gonna order all the desserts. So I was like, that's literally perfect that they had like a little dessert sampler. So I would 100% recommend eating at Sebastian's if and when you come here because you should come here. Well, yes, it's Sunday. I feel like this trip went by so quick. And yeah, we're heading home today. Our flight is at three o'clock at boards and the airport's literally five minutes from us. So the lady's like, oh, you need to go three hours before. I'm like, they always say that, but do you really need to go three hours before? I don't know, we'll see. But I just need to finish packing up my airport bag and my carry-on suitcase and then we'll be on our way out. By the way, I am super, super behind on content, like my short form content for TikTok, Instagram, and especially YouTube. My pack and prep with me video was supposed to go up like a few days ago. And then this vlog was either gonna go up today or like a few days after, but y'all know this paper has been, let me, I don't even wanna talk about it. But yeah, so the content's gonna be a little behind, but honestly, it is what it is. Y'all look at the video when you get the video. Because I actually want it to be good, I want it to be entertaining. I don't like to just throw stuff together just to get it up. So, I will keep you updated on when the videos are going up. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok because I've been posting on my Instagram story every single day. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you miss a lot. <laughs> I post a lot on my stories, especially when I'm on vacation. I post pretty much every part of the trip, like in real time. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Briagia and on TikTok as well. Like I said, I've been behind on the content, but all my short form content will be going up very, very soon. There's going to be at least three more travel vlogs this year. So y'all better stay tuned. I'm, I'm telling you. But I go back to Binghamton tomorrow. School starts Tuesday. First day of the spring semester, y'all. Wish me luck. This is my last full year in Binghamton. I'm ready to be done with school. <laughs> I'm so ready. I'm so ready. So like I said, the content, I don't know how delayed it's going to be, but school is not going to help at all with that. But I will definitely work hard to make sure I get all the content up for you guys. So don't even worry. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you for always tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Bye, guys.